My name is Oliver Franks. Some of you may have heard of me before. My name is very much used in connection with the key guiding principles or values for inspectors and all who work at the Planning Inspectorate. Those values are openness, fairness, impartiality. But where did these values come from? Let me tell you a short story. First, we have to go back to 1938 when 725 acres of land at Critchell Down in Dorset was purchased compulsorily by the Air Ministry for bombing practice. In 1941, Winston Churchill gave a promise to Parliament that the land would be returned to its owners after the Second World War, when it was no longer needed for the purpose for which it had been bought. Now, this promise was not honoured. Instead, the land was handed to the Ministry of Agriculture, who vastly increased the price of the land beyond the amount the original landowners could afford, from £12,006 to £32,000, and instead leased it out. In 1949, Toby and Mary Anna Martin, now owners of the Critchell Estate, began campaigning for the government's promise to be kept. Rumours of bribery and corruption began to circulate. An independent inquiry cleared officials of corruption, but was fiercely critical of the way the matter was handled. Ultimately, the minister responsible, Sir Thomas Dugdale, resigned, and the land in question was sold back to the owners. A fascinating story, I hear you say, but where do I come in? Well, as development picked up in the 1950s, the way in which the inquiry system operated came into question. The Crushel Down affair became the catalyst for where my part in this starts. In 1955, I chaired a committee looking into administrative tribunals and inquiries, known as the Franks Committee. We were told by the British government to limit our discussion to formal statutory procedure and not to go into decisions of the courts or one-off decisions, including that particular Critchell Down affair. In 1957, the Franks report was issued. You could go and read my most excellent report, but to save you time, I will summarise the best bits for you. We said that tribunals are an adjudicating rather than administrative body, and they should follow these principles. Openness means that you must have no secret briefings. All policy and evidence should be available to the parties just as it is to the inspector. Fairness means that all parties with an interest in a decision are given adequate notice of the proceedings, have a proper opportunity to state their case and to reply to the representations of others. Impartiality means that you must maintain a high level of integrity and objectivity when facing the issues and evidence before you. You should come to a case with an open mind. You must be impartial and unbiased and must be seen to be so. You must not be subject to any improper influence or seen to be subject to such influence. I must have done an excellent job as all these years later to be open, fair and impartial remain the guiding principles for independent tribunals and you continue to follow them in all that you do at the planning inspectorates. They were so great in fact, that you also use them with the addition to also be customer focused as your values. I have to say, I think this is an excellent addition. Why wouldn't any organization want to pay great attention to their customers' requirements and what matters to them? Openness, fairness, impartiality, customer focused.